Okay. 10 online sales net me 840 pounds. Stick around if you want to see what I've sold. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Walter O'Neill and I own antiquesarena.com, my own website where I sell antiques, collectibles, and weird and wonderful things that I find at car boot sales for next to nothing. Today is sharing what I've sold and what I've achieved. I have many videos showing you what I bought and what I pay for it. And well, if you do the math, you know I'm paying one, two pound a piece for some of my items. So yeah, it's gonna be a really good day today. Stick around. If you like the videos, please like, share, comment. Go check out the website. 4,000 items of stock of amazing variety. So, should we get started in today's video? So, we're going to start off with this absolutely gorgeous antique hand carved conch shell, which would, was then turned into a lamp. So, it's carved, cameo carved, and turned into a lamp. Probably early 20th century. It needs rewiring, but a beautiful thing nonetheless. Souvenir piece, no doubt. And I achieved £45 for that. And the shell was approximately six inches. Beautiful little thing. This, what a price for a bit of costume jewellery. Now, this isn't even sterling silver or gold. This is costume jewellery. But it was Atwood and Sawyer. It was 1970s, Prince of Wales, three feathers brooch. £120 I achieved for this. And where were they? Uh, the original was bought by Elizabeth Taylor at auction in 1987. So it's obviously a copy of the original by Elizabeth Taylor. But when I bought this, it probably came in for 50p or pound, and I just took it home and researched it. Shock of my life, but £120 I achieved for this beautiful brooch. What can I say? There it is, A&S for the Atwood. What an absolute stormer of a find. £120 achieved, and that went within weeks. It really did. This was a bit of a disappointment. Um, I was all, honestly expecting more money for this. Penrith Kyber Welsh Tally Check. These are safety mining checks, so when you went underground, you'd have a lamp from the stores. Well, you would leave your colliery number check there then, and they would know who's underground in case of cave-ins. This one is even spelt wrong. They couldn't even spell Penrick Iber. They spelled Pen Penriki Kyber. Um, but yeah, they couldn't even spell Penrick Iber correctly. So I've got the correct spelling and the incorrect spelling, both in the title. But uh, yeah, sold it for £25. It's local. I live in Penrick Iber. It should have achieved more money, but £25 is gone. I always buy colliery plates if they're, uh, well, I do anything coal mining. And these colliery plates I do well with. This one sold for £25 and it was for Mardi Colliery 1990. So it had a little bit of age. And who is it by? Edwardian Fine China. And you had all the details of the colliery on the reverse. £25 for a little plate. No problem whatsoever with that. I'm over the moon. But I buy these colliery plates all the time for just a few pounds. This was a corker. Um, quite a large tin Hellman's Real Main A sign. 33 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. You can see it's in quite poor condition. And I still achieved 125 pounds for this. But I would much rather see genuine, authentic way and rust than a reproduction. But a good looking sign, it had a really good look to it. They even, believe it or not, in the reproductions, they print the rust, so it still has that same look. That's the look people want. 125 pound, I don't think it's stuck around for more than a couple of weeks. And what week would go by without some sales of jewelry. So we have a nine carat yellow gold, garnet ring and it's a big single solitaire garnet and the the ring was a size v the garnet was 10 mil by 6 mil so it's a really good size 4.6 grams so you're talking is 90 pound of scrap value there just in the gold these days 
or let land a 90 pound of scrap. So I wasn't really expensive at 145 pound. Fully hallmarked, as you can see there, 375, which is the gold nine carat stamp or standard, 375 parts of a thousand gold. Really nice thing. And 145 achieved. Now, you'll find jewelry in costume jewelry boxes or car boot sales all the time. And the, I find it hard to buy because I'm a man. And the first thing out of a woman's mouth is, there's no gold in there. I always find gold in them, but that's the first thing because I'm a man. If a lady goes up to the stalls to buy the jewellery, they don't get questions because they're just rummaging through jewellery, but they know what I'm after. Okay, so we have a really nice Christoffel silver plate swan handle sauce boat and ladle. Um, I can't pronounce the second name, unfortunately, but yeah, eight inches long, Christoffel silver plate, French silver plate, beautiful thing in this original box. There you go, and it's got the swan handle ladle. Really nice thing. I can't remember. I think I actually paid about £15 for this, 10 or £15 for it. Um, but either way, £85 achieved. Christoph will do silver and silver plate. This was part of my own um, things. Now... I've had this for so long. I used to repair some of the pieces I'd buy in. Well, here we have 1.6 kilos of gold leaf powder. Big tin of gold leaf powder. Obviously, I had to check it wasn't gold powder from a jeweler's or something when I bought it. But uh, yeah, £50 achieved for 1.6 kilos. That was really, really cheap. Then I had a set of Danish sterling silver and enamel forks. These are Denmark, 1960s, 48 grams of silver. <laughs> I achieved £145 for these, but they are absolutely beautiful. Any Denmark silver in enamel sells extremely well. But these were mint in the case, and I love the enamel work on them. Some good photographs as well. I've done a video this week showing you how I photograph my stuff. If you want to see how I get such good photographs, go check that out. It's in my uh, recent videos. There you go, fully uh, stamped up. I can't read that word. Sterling, Denmark. Beautiful things. £145 achieved. Then there was this, a 20-inch heavy gents sterling silver curb necklace. 65 and a half grams, uh, 20 inches long, 10 mil wide. So this was a big, heavy, chunky piece. Now, I normally sell my silver about a pound a gram, but this was really nice. So I achieved a couple of pence above pound a gram. I had 75 pound for a 65 gram necklace. But a beautiful thing. Obviously, the silver mark here, 925 for 925 parts silver. But a really good looking silver necklace. And again, if you want to know how I do such good photos, go check out the video. 10 items, £840 return. That's absolutely fabulous. And all my stuff comes from car boot sales. The stuff is out there. If you like my videos, check out my playlists. I got um, whole videos on showing everything I've bought at car boot sales. I have games. Uh, I got a little playlist called Just for Fun, where you got to guess the item, test your antique knowledge, test, uh, and just I'll show you the item. You got to guess what it is. I do many of these sold videos. I've even got how to videos, how to identify things. Check out the YouTube channel. You won't be disappointed. And check out the website, antiquesarena.com. Tons and tons of things on there. If there's something on there you like, you can even make me an offer. I have a make an offer button. So what do you think? Not bad little haul for 10 items. That's an average of £84 an item. If you can do that all the time, you're laughing. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, thank you very much. Please share, like, comment on the videos, and I'll see you at the next one. Take care and bye for now.